Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is exciting. I've seen these all over YouTube and I thought it was a really interesting concept. I absolutely want to do it and see if it works for me too. And if you don't know what I'm talking about by the title of the video um, yet is that I'm going to mix all of my primers together and I'm going to mix all of my foundations together. I might also end up mixing all of my concealers together and maybe my setting powders and see if that works as well. And I'm going to be applying everything to my face and see what it looks like. And this is an interesting concept and I'm actually really surprised that it's worked for the people that I have seen it work for. But it's weird and interesting that all of these different brands of makeup products can come together and have an okay result for people. We'll see if that happens. Of course, I'm going to be really, really truthful and tell you guys everything I am seeing and how these products are like laying on my skin and all of that good stuff. I don't think I'm going to do a wear test on it because it's kind of late over here. I don't think I'm gonna have it on for that long. But normally on me, foundation either looks weird right away or I can tell after like 20 minutes. So I'll definitely let you know um, how it works. Um, I don't really have a problem with foundation wearing off because my skin is really dry. So yeah, um, I think that's everything I have to say. Um, remember, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers before February 20th. So please, 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 if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel um, and give my video a thumbs up if, you're, um, if you like it. So let's just go ahead and get started. These right here is what I'm going to be mixing my um, primers and foundations in. These were actually Dave and Buster's glasses, like shot glasses that I want, um, that I won with a couple of friends once. Um, they used to say Dave and Buster on them, but then I put them on the dishwasher, and this is what they look like now. Uh, but they are perfect for this video. I'm going to be using these to mix my products together. So standing in front of me, I have 20 different makeup primers. I'm going to be doing a little either like squirt of it or a pump of it into one of these, mix them all together, and then I'm going to do the same thing with my foundations. So let's just go ahead and get started because this is gonna take forever. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, Cover Effects Blurring Primer, Hangover Primer by Too Faced, Dior Forever Skin Primer, Fenty Primer, Stila One Step Correct, Smashbox Primerizer, Radiance Activator by Estee Edit, Becca Velvet Blurring Primer, Optical Illusion by Urban Decay, Caress Wild Rose Primer. Okay, so I have my Touche Claw Primer by YSL, Professional Pearl Primer, Smashbox Radiance Primer, Cover Effects Illuminating Primer, Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer, Josie Marin Argan Moon Drops, Tarte Radiance Drops, Becca Illuminating Primer, and then the Origins Original Skin Primer. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. It looks really nasty. It smells very interesting now that it's all mixed together and this is what it looks like after it's been mixed. So we'll see. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to do the same thing with my foundations. Okay, so I have here 21 foundations, I believe. These are all of my foundation, ex um, pretty much all of my foundations except for a few stick foundations. Um, one that I have like two of the same and I'm not going to add this Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water because it looked really like, I just sh um, shook it but it looked like it was really like separated in there. So I think I might throw this out. Uh, but everything else I'm mixing. So let's take the caps off and get started. All right, so here is my little cup. And first things I'm going to do, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. Then I'm going to do my Born This Way Foundation. Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. Givenchy Saint Couture and um, Peach Perfect from Too Faced. Then I have my Locket by Kat Von D, Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, All Hours by YSL, Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation, 
Makeup Forever Water Blend. Okay, so then I have the Fenty Foundation, Photo Perfection by Givenchy, Guerlain's Lingerie Foundation, Lingerie Foundation. Okay, so I have my Stila Aqua Glow, Triple Protection Sun Tint by First Aid Beauty, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, NARS Matte Velvet, Stila Stay All Day, Okay, and then last but not least, my Air Flash by Dior. Okay, so this is what it looks like before they've been mixed. There's not that much variety of colors. I thought it would be worst. I'm going to get the same brush. I already cleaned it and I'm just going to mix it all together. Alright, so I'm going to very quickly wash my hands and wet a beauty blender and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I am back. Um, I, I, I guess I'll just get started. I'm going to get my little primer concoction here. And I think I'm just going to do it with my finger. I just washed my hands. I'm going to get about that much and smooth it over my pores. I'm going to tell you, I don't like the smell of it. It smells really strong because I mixed so many different things together. So the smell I'm not a fan of. However, my face is like not at all sticky, but it does feel very smooth. My pores I think are like 50% covered. Um, I'm not impressed by this primer concoction. I thought having so many primers that cover up your pores, my pores would be a little bit less visible than they are right now. So, doesn't feel bad, it feels very smooth, but I would like my pores to be a little bit more covered. Let's move on to our foundation concoction. I'm just gonna get this little brush and I'm going to kind of brush it on. Looks a little bit dark. We'll see. I would say it's giving me like a medium coverage. But the color is a good match. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I put it on. Um, the color is good. That's the color that I like to be. Um, it is a medium to full coverage. You could get to full after you layer it. Um, I think right now it looks a little bit more full coverage. It has a like natural finish. Um, and it overall looks pretty good. Um, I'm not super impressed by it, but it is an okay looking foundation. Um, for it to have 21 foundations mixed in here. So um, this is what the primer and the foundation are looking like. I'm going to actually go wash the primer little concoction bowl because I didn't really like the primer at all. And I'm going to mix in there some concealers and we're going to see what comes out of there. I'll be back, guys. Okay, so I am back. I have a clean glass. <laughs> Um, shot glass and I'm going to bring out my concealers. I don't have that many concealers. I didn't even like pull them out because I didn't think I was going to do them. But I know they're not a lot. There might be like five maybe. So not as like much as the primers and foundations which was like 20. But we'll see. We'll see what comes um, out. Okay, so I have seven. I have more than seven actually but these I'm not going to be able to put in a container because they have a sponge tip. I have two like that and then I have some that have this like brush applicator. I'm also not going to be able to put these in a container. I have like three or four of those. So we're not doing those and I'm also not going to do my NARS one um, because I don't want to scrape it out and also this is not my color. Um, so I have seven that we are going to mix together. I have my tint. I Tint Idol from Lancome, which is an ultra long wearing one. Okay, so that on the side there is a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. 
All right, so it was really hard for me to like put in the put the concealers in here because most of them have duffel applicators. So this is what it looks like around the thing is all the concealers that I had to scrape on the side. I'm going to tell you though everything that's in there. I have the Ultra HD Concealer by Makeup Forever in there. I have the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in there. I have the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer in here. I have my NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. I have... I have the Dior Skin Concealer and a Bobbi Brown Serum Concealer. So what I'm going to do is, I think, is I'm going to mix it with the concealer brush and then just straight up apply it. So I'm going to... Oh gosh. Okay, so that is probably way too much concealer, but thankfully this Beauty Blender is really clean, so it'll take away some of that. Okay, so I gotta tell you guys, the thing that has impressed me the most so far is the concealer. It is really full coverage, it blended out really nicely, it's creamy, it feels like hydrated. I do like how, um, the way the concealer looks, um, it also is a really nice shade, mixing all of these random shades together came out nice. So I do really, really like the concealers mixed together. So let's mix together some setting powders now. So for the setting powders, I'm not going to get a container. I'm going to mix them all in the cap of a setting powder. So this is Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. I'm going to put a little bit on there. Then I'm going to grab my Kat Von D setting powder and put a little bit on there. Then this right here is uh, repackaged. This is not the La Mercier powder. This is actually my RCMA powder. So I'm going to put a little bit on there. And then I'm going to get this other cover effects. This one is the cover effects perfecting setting powder. So like not the matte one. So this is what the four setting powders are looking like together. I don't think I have any more setting powders. I'm going to mix them together with my brush that I normally use to set my powder with. This is what it looks like after it's been mixed. And then I'm going to one more time get my beauty blender, smooth everything underneath my eye and set it. Okay, so I kind of baked it a little bit. I don't like to leave it on a long time because I have dry skin and it makes my skin extra dry if I leave it under there for too long. So I'm just going to swipe it off now. That actually looks really good. Everything looks nice and set and matte. It doesn't, it doesn't feel super dry. It doesn't feel super heavy underneath my eyes. So the um, powder concoction, um, I approve. So I think that is all I'm going to mix together. Um, I saw Alisa Ashley's video and she mixed everything. She got like blushes and bronzers and highlighters. I'm not going to mix all of that um, because I don't really want to scrape my blushes. I just can't get myself to do it. I can't scrape my blushes and bronzers. So I'm going to do just one bl bronzer, one blush and one highlight and I will be right back. So I'm kind of upset at myself because I didn't think of getting my Velvetizer and making it part of my concoction. So obviously I'm not going to do it for the parts that I already did it, but I am going to mix in a little bit of it and I'm going to remix it and I'm going to use it. So I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender, um, put it in there one more time and I, I'm going to bake a little bit right here. I couldn't believe I had forgotten that powder because that is like my latest obsession. That powder is so good. Okay, so I'm going to let this bake for a little bit while I do my lipstick. I already did my Stila bronzer. I did Melba from MAC uh, blush. I did my MAC highlighter in Showgold. I love that highlighter. Um, I finished up the under eye and I don't know what to do for lipstick. This YSL seems like it would match so I'm going to try it. This is the YSL lipstick in number 25. Matches this eye pretty good I would say so I like it. And I'm going to just take this off now. 
All right, guys, so this is the finished look. This is what 20 primers, 21 foundations, seven concealers, and five setting powders look like combined. Um, it's not too bad. I wish I could see my pores a little bit less, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. I thought this was like an interesting thing to do because I wouldn't think mixing all of like the different stuff you have together would give you a result nearly like okay looking so the fact that it looks good is surprising to me i hope you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed to my channel yet please please subscribe i'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by february 20th and i need your help to do it um if you want to share it you're welcome to and thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you back in the next video bye